What up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to Spider's Diecast. Yep, I finally got this in. This is my Maserati MC20 from BBR Models in this nice looking yellow. But let's uh, turn it over to, uh, to the on the back to see the Italian uh, name uh, Giallo Genio. All right. Sounds good to me. So yeah, BBR Models, you know, uh, it's an Italian brand, if you didn't know. You know, they, sp so quite naturally, they're going to specialize in the Italian cars, especially the uh, Italian uh, exotics. So yeah, uh, but they're being made by being manufactured by Mini GT, I've, I've heard, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, I took the plastic off already so we can save a little time and we can go straight to work. So, um, I'd like to thank y'all for y'all's patience right there. And yeah, this is pretty nice. Let's get a little close up in. Give that just a little bit more light. Got a little bit of crud on it, but you know, that, um... That could come off, I believe. Uh, this is actually a metallic yellow. A giallo. Like, as the Italians say. Yeah, uh, you still have these. You still have carbon fiber on the, on the dash right there. It's pretty cool. On the. And you still got them blue seats. If I can get a good enough look, uh, view of it for y'all. Pretty awesome. Been having some trouble with my lighting, but you know. Uh, y'all saw the gist of that interior. And as always, you know, you got great carbon fiber detail on these. So yeah, that's pretty awesome on the side skirts. And then on the rear diffuser, the rear bumper, pretty nice. Your Maserati logo uh, badge, smack dab in the middle. Your cool tail lights. And equally cool headlights. Let's give that a little bit of space. Back that up a little bit. So our picture can get a little clearer. Got more carbon fiber on the uh, front bumper. More of the same right there. And then you got this uh pretty neat looking uh Maserati Trident logo in the middle pretty nice and that's you know, pretty much chromed out that's really cool and then you got another Maserati uh badge right up top I love how they chrome that out. It's very tiny, by the way. So, yeah, this thing is pretty sick. And, of course, you know, we can't forget the carbon fiber on the engine. So, yeah, that's pretty dope. And I also like how they do these... Uh, do these air scoops 
to draw air into the engine with. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that don't even look like uh, black paint in there. That looks like, you know, some inserts. Yeah, I mean, that's just, if that is, that is just next level detail right there. And of course, we got some, some mirrors with the reflective inserts. You still want to be careful with those because they ain't rubber and those are plastic. But they're still pretty nice. Now, there we go. Uh, so, yeah. Um, let me wipe this off for a little bit. You know, got, you know, got my, you know, disgusting hands all over it. But, you know, all's well and fine now. All is right with the world. The diecast world, so to speak. So, anyway, um, and yeah, these things are pretty heavy, too, if you don't have any experience with these. So, yeah, they got some weight to it, especially since it got that metal base on the bottom. So... That's pretty much uh that's pretty much it. It's not too much to go over. Uh except, you know, the fact that I got a yellow one. <laughs> so, um I I wanted this one. You know, I fell in love with the MC twenties. Love the fact that Maserati is doing supercars again. So yeah. Uh I'm going, I'm trying to make some space, make some more room, uh, save some more space for other cars. But as long as they're putting out these Maserati MC20s, I'm getting these no matter what in every color. So that just about does it for today. Um, so thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in my content. Or, you know, let people know, um, leave a like uh, on this video so it can get out to other people searching for quality diecast content. And yeah, um, let your friend or a loved one that collects uh, diecast seriously, uh, let them know about this channel. So anyway, I'm going to get my butt on out of here. And I'll see y'all later. Have a good one.